Okay, so this is our one owner 1968 Mustang that came out of Pebble Beach, California. The previous owner was 95 years old and he was actually the commander of the Blue Angels in the military. So he was a big deal in the military and he actually has his own, his own uh, his old MPS sticker. I think this was 01. That's when he retired. But he lived in Pebble Beach and the car's been there since the day it was bought new. I believe it to be all original. I don't see any sign of repaints. It is untouched and it's a beautiful color. I love this color green. It has minimal rust. As you see, you got one spot right there. Um, I think the floor, we're gonna show you every inch of it. So you guys are gonna see for yourself. The body looks really straight. Doesn't look like there's any sign of accidents and no sign of any serious rust besides what you'll see here. The lines are excellent. This thing's not shut all the way, but. Is that a 69? A uh, 68. Eight? Yeah. Yeah, I tend to go with the 69, but... 69s are nice. I can handle this. He likes the number, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> probably better. <laughs> well, let's 69s not, are let's beautiful. Let's talk So the interior of the car is pretty solid. I mean, 
door panels, the seats except for the driver's seat, uh, the headliner, the dash, is all really nice and I believe it to be all original. Old radio, gauges are all nice, steering wheel's in good shape, intact. No issues in the door jams, doors shut nicely. Headliner's really nice and tight. Back seats are in really good shape. No cracks or anything, it's really nice actually. And again, headliner's in beautiful condition. Okay, let's check out the driver's side. So again, um, really nice you don't see like any rust issues really on on this side of the car nice jams uh, i don't see any sign of repaints you look through it um i do believe it's the original paint door panels in great shape you got one thing right there and you got to keep in mind um this is all original no issues on this side either carpets have held up really nicely for age of course dash instrument panels are all in good shape so is that beautiful steering wheel headliner is really nice the seats are as well besides that of course for us for as old as they are it's impressive how well they've held up. Odometer reads 37,900. Um, I didn't get to meet the previous owner, so it's a five digit odometer and that's what we think it is. Okay, let's fire it up. So the car fires, of course, right up. Um, like I said, everything is, to my knowledge, working. Low, high, heater was working, blows really warm. Um, the radio works. You make me. Uh, the, all the little lights, like, like this light here, you know, when you put it into gear. So the motor runs and drives really well. All we did was replace the starter, clean the gas. I think that's about it. We didn't have to do very much work. But it runs nice and smooth. These six cylinders always run really well. All you see is surface rust. There's no major rust, no sign of accidents, no structural issues. It's all very solid. You got your VIN number right here. Again, it was never kissed in the front or anything. That is the original green. Okay, now let's show you guys the trunk. Again, you got all the original tags here. Um, no sign of, you know, it being painted or, you know, sometimes the tags get sprayed over. It all looks nice and even. And now, nothing special under here. We will show you everything, so we will take everything out of here. It's pretty solid, your spare tire, jack. No sign of any kind of um, damages here. These tend to rust a lot. And if they've been hit, you know, you can never really fix them the same. But this one hasn't, so it's really solid. And let's take everything out and show you guys what's underneath. Okay, here is what I really like. You can see the green, the original paint, and it's just untouched. 
I mean, it's really nice under here. No sign of, you know, damages or anything here. Um, the green is beautiful. We did change the tank. Old tank was kind of old and busted up, but this tank here has been changed. You got one, some rust there, and we're gonna show you it underneath. But besides that, it is really solid everywhere. Won't disappoint. And now, um, it's got the original mat right there. Uh, you do have the jack. These are just, you put them in there. This was what was in the trunk. The tire is in good shape, the spare tire. That's that. So the car mechanically runs and drives well. Of course, it's been sitting for some time. So um, whoever buys it before taking it far away or driving it daily, maybe they should service it. I'd clean out the carburetor a little bit, um, service the brakes maybe. But besides that, everything in the inside should be operable. All the gauges seem to be working. Uh, our heater blows warm. Our radio is functioning well. Our horn works. So all in all, to my knowledge, mostly everything important is working. Um, but if you guys are going to buy it and drive it daily, service it, take it to a mechanic, have them just go through it. It shouldn't need anything major. Uh, it's running and driving very well. The floors are all original and uh, they are very solid. So they've never been undercoated like many of the East Coast cars where they've been painted black or they've been cut up and chopped up. Not this one. What you see here is surface rust and that's the extent of the rust here. The tires look like they're in good shape. So do the tie rods and the motor and the tranny are dry. They don't seem to be leaking anything. These areas are very solid as well. No rust issues there. How you doing? Uh, yeah, just give me one second. Okay, now we're at the back. As you guys can see, the frame, really nice. The floor is very solid. There's really no rust issues on this side of the floors. So you got a little bit of rust, as you guys know, right here, where I showed you guys. And then besides that, it's all pretty solid. The gas tank is new. This side's pretty solid though. 